I mean, how, how can you be sure he's never going to waterboard you? I'm in charge of traffic. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Edge don't want you to hear them. Cop is blocking technology drive. I don't know how long that's going to last. But no backup for the moment. I guess they're giving people directions to the airport because that must be where they go to park. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Or maybe not. I don't know if they're going to have to pay as usual while they're at the airport. This guy almost backed into the police. But uh, to their credit, all the police did was yell, which is probably what I would have done. I just overheard that um, uh, former U.S. Senator John Sununu and also a former official Bob Smith have been given VIP treatment, apparently, or they're going to be allowed in. All right, so it looks like that uh, police unit is, in fact, pulling out of the apartment complex, but maybe he just backed in there. I don't know for sure. So as always, we want to be asking and watching and documenting how intrusive or non-intrusive the police and politicians are being. We want to be documenting every inch along the route to a point where the politicians have their own lanes, like in the Soviet Union. Don't have that yet. And remember, that exit for that apartment complex was open today, before the Trump machine got here. So that's already one minor intrusion. Three hours out, three hours before, how many more will there be? I was just telling a passerby, uh, you know, wouldn't it be nice if I could say I was, I was kicked out of a Slobodan Milosevic rally in 1987. What a great claim to fame that would be. But uh, maybe 20 years from now I'll be able to say something just as, well, I don't know what the right word for it is. The parallels between Trump and Hitler are not so few in number or limited in significance that they, that they don't mean anything. I, th I think there's a significance there. The invocation of a foreign threat, the singling out of a religion which is also something of an ethnicity, I'm talking about Muslims. The deportation idea, remember Hitler wanted to deport Jews at first, I don't think he wanted to kill them at first, or at least he didn't admit to it. The Mussolini-esque demeanor, the probability that he will do something closer to running the trains on time. One of the things people said about Mussolini and liked about him at the beginning. The near riots and beatings that are reminiscent of the street fighting between communists and Nazis in the early 30s in Germany. The existence of an economic crisis, although this one has been covered up more than the depression in Germany was, papered over with the, the bailouts. The sense that the United States has inappropriately or unfairly lost one or more wars and that it's suffering as a result unnecessarily, even though, of course, United States territory has not been invaded, really. The perceived saber rattling against neighbors, the Trump's effectiveness at having what you might call good parties, the Nazis were like that too. The entertaining and almost farcical demeanor of the candidate so these are the these are the answers we can give when a person asks us why we invoke the Hitler precedent and worry about Trump being similar.
I'm recording. Are you working for the Trump campaign? Yes. Let me ask you something. Trump said, uh, quote, I would bring back waterboarding and I'd bring back a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding, unquote. To what extent are you worried that, I mean, how, how can you be sure he's never going to waterboard you? I'm in charge of traffic. <laughs> well, maybe not for that. To what extent do you think you'll be held responsible for the things that Trump does if he gets elected? Very little. Thank you for answering. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.